Hi guys, it's me, Faye, here at Faye Dusk, and I have another Witchy Wednesday f video for you, and this video is the Book of Shadows tag, which I can't remember who started this tag, but I found it from a Aussie pagan called Katie Flowers, like, I'm sure you guys have heard of her, she's really cool, I really like her channel, but she did the tag and I'm not sure who it originated from, I can't remember, but if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my phone as I have the questions from her video screenshotted onto my phone. I do believe there are, yeah, there are 16 questions, so bear with me if you see me looking down, and yeah, so let's get started. The first question is, what do you call your book? Book of Shadows, Book of Light, Book of Life, Book of Ways, Grimoire, or something else. I call my book, my Book of Shadows. If you uh, are a newer subscriber and haven't seen my very quick sort of flick through my Book of Shadows, quite old, if you scroll right down through my videos, you should see it. And very, very soon, I plan on having a... I'm in the process at the moment of updating and revamping my Book of Shadows, so once that's all done I will do a proper sort of flip through and talk through about everything in there and stuff like that. Yeah, so second question, when did you first start your Book of Shadows? I first started my Book of Shadows when I first discovered uh, witchcraft and became a witch, so just before I was 13 and I had an old, um, I had like a W.H. Smith's like exercise book, and yeah, and that was what my very first Book of Shadows. Uh, do you have more than one book of shadows or do you have several that you separate into categories like spells, rituals, herbs and also it's when did you first start your... that question's been repeated so I already answered that one but uh, I have one book of shadows that's in a binder my revamp idea is that I plan on having my binder still but I also plan on having like a scrapbook thing that was sort of that will go with it, that I'm sort of going to have sort of joined together and all that sort of thing and the the binder I plan on just ha I plan on having more sort of references with things like that and then the scrapbook thing I plan on having more sort of like spells and rituals and all that sort of thing but you'll see more once it's done uh, question four, do you keep a book of mirrors or a book of reflections as well as a book of shadows or do you incorporate the two into one book? With, I plan on when revamping my book of shadows. I plan on having a book of a book of mirrors. Probably, I would like ideally to have a section in my scrapbook for my book of mirrors as well. So I, I just like the idea of having it all together, or one one place, all the vibes sort of mingling together. If that makes sense. Uh, question five: What is your favorite thing to do in your book of shadows? Drawing herbs, writing spells, etc. My favourite thing to do in my Book of Shadows is probably just creating a new page. Like, I love to sort of, if, when I'm creating a new page, and it can be, say, if it was, like, correspondences, for example, I love to sort of, like, have, like, a theme and just sort of go with it from there and just sort of take my time and make it really pretty and really, like, what I want it to be. Uh, question six, do you do a blessing on your book when you first got it or do you have special ritual cleansing before writing in your book? I'll admit when I first, when I started my book shadows, one because I've moved my book shadows several times but the last time I moved it, which was a few years ago now, to the binder, I didn't actually do a blessing or anything like that but once I'm revamping my book shadows and when it includes my scrapbook, that I'm starting on I do plan on actually in the scrapbook writing a book blessing and having that as the first page so yeah I will have a book blessing uh, question seven do you organize the pages in your book into sections or do you just do whatever you feel like um <clears throat> in the binder part of my book of shadows I do Sort of, it's sort of like a little bit like scrapbook style as well, and I do sort of have it organised, but sort of not. Well, I do have it organised. I've um, got loads of like plastic wallets with different things, and I actually have special like tab post its with, with written down and stuck on there with what's in there, so I can sort of know without having to pull everything out each page what's in there if I'm looking for something specific. Um, I do plan on sort of grouping things a little bit better. Also in my binder I do have um, 
dividers as well so I have a like a space for sort of like all the correspondences and everything like that then another space for like the garden goddess and all that so more fairy wicker and uh, sabbats and all that sort of thing uh, do you organize the page oh no I do apologize I just read question seven question eight do you let anyone else see or read your book of shadows uh, no one actually has seen it or specifically read it and that is not purposely me trying to keep it from anyone it's just I've never sort of really gotten around to showing anyone I mean it is private and it is mine so I wouldn't just want anyone just like <laughs> any sort of any random Joe just looking through it but I have sort of had a very brief sort of walkthrough video that I've shown so you guys have actually sort of had a very quick glance at it I mean, if it was someone, I was on the same wavelength with, that was sort of like open-minded about this sort of thing, or was sort of looking themselves to get into the craft, just wanted sort of a better idea of what a book of shadows was, like I wouldn't be um, against showing them mine, and I do want to pass it down to my children one day as well. So yeah, cause, yeah. So you know, I wouldn't say mine's like really, really secretive, if that makes sense. Um, number nine, what does your book of shadows mean to you? Well, your book of sh for me personally, my book of shadows is like an extension of myself, an extension of my spirituality, of my craft, of my practice, of my personality, of who I am. And it's for me personally, it's a really integral, important part of my craft. And obviously, it's something, it's just something nice to be able to document and record your ideas your findings and it grows as you grow and changes as you change and it's just something nice to be able to look like an actual physical item as opposed to something digital to be able to sort of feel and touch and look back on and, and I just love the idea that 50 years from now 100 years from now that it will be passed down to like future descendants of my family line and stuff like that and it's, it's like a nice idea to think that like a little piece of me will always live on uh number 10 how do you feel about symbolism when choosing your book of shadows for me personally i never really saw the symbolism never really came into it for me i didn't really sort of more sort of i just chose what i felt called to as opposed to something that sort of had like specific sort of like symbolism or like symbolic value if that make sense in any sort of way uh number 11 where and where 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 and how do you keep your book do you have a special place for it is it wrapped in special material my book is not wrapped in special material but i do keep it in my bedroom which is like my spiritual hub and i keep it on my witchy altar shelf so it's right next to my altar which is really nice and Yes, yeah, so that's the special place that I always keep it. And number uh, 12. Are you planning on handing down your book to future members or is it just for you? <laughs> Oops, I sort of answered this question like in a previous question. And yes, I do plan on handing it down to my children if they are, if they do end up taking it after, taking after me when I have children <laughs> and they are interested in witchcraft and magic and they end up practicing themselves i definitely love the idea of my book being like a family book and me being the start of like a family line of witches and just knowing that once i like in the future when i'm gone that my book will still very much be a physical reminder of my life and of me and all that sort of thing so yeah i definitely will be passing it down Sorry, my camera was doing a really weird thing. I need to get a new camera because it's so annoying. I can only record, it never used to do it, but I can only record up to 10 minutes at a time. I can't record, well, just under 10 minutes. If I do anything over 10 minutes, for some reason the file won't save. So I always end up having to break up my videos into two. So it's really, really irritating. But anyway, going on to question 13. What is your opinion on the bot versus personally made debates on, debate on Books of Shadows? <clears throat> I personally don't have any strong feelings against people that buy their Book of Shadows as opposed to personally craft it. 
I just think it's all about, I mean, Wicca and witchcraft and everything, it's, it's a personal as each person is themselves. Like people, some people may not have the time or the inclination to make their own book of shadows or they may not even be, they may not feel confident or comfortable in their crafting abilities and they may not be that way inclined and just, they just can't or don't want to make their own and they personally feel more drawn to buying a book of shadows. Like, I just think that you don't have to physically make your book of shadows for it to be your own to be you i mean i know that there are witches i know there's a sort of like that same sort of debate with witches that have bought replica replicas of like charmed book of shadows or from practical magic or anything like that and i know some witches sort of frown upon that but if it's that person feels called to that sort of design of book and they can't and don't, or don't want to make it but they'd rather purchase it I don't see anything wrong with it because that book is going to be put there could be a hundred books a hundred witches have purchased the replica charmed book of shadows for example so a hundred witches could buy that replica book but each even though the cover of each book looks the same each book is going to be different because each witch is different and they're going to make it personal in their own way so i think it's all about doing what's right for you and what you feel called to uh, question 14. What is your opinion on your book of shadows following the popularised charmed aesthetic of looking age with calligraphy perfect writing inside? I sort of feel like I touched on this question in the previous question and that really wasn't intentional. You can tell I haven't read these questions before I started doing this video. Um, I, I don't personally see anything wrong with it at all in the slightest. What I don't, like, that's just not an issue. Like, if someone wants to do that, that's their choice. Like, I, re I really, really like it. I think it's, uh, I really loved the charm book of shadows. I just think it's so awesome and so cool. But I don't think that I would personally have a replica charm book of shadows with the, uh, with that style of writing inside just because personally for me it's not something I feel called to to own as my primary book of shadows but anyone that wants to I think that's totally awesome and rocks like I do not have anything against that at all uh question 15 do you own or want to own any replica books from famous witches popular tv and film I uh, yes I would love to own the charm book of shadows as the practical magic practical magic book of shadows as i think that both of those types of books of the shadows absolutely rock and they're really really cool and yeah it would be really awesome to actually have them and then be co be completed books like they are in the show and yeah it would be really really cool I mean I would really like it but yeah so the last question question 16 if you wanted to watch <clears throat> god I can't even speak properly I'm sorry guys if you wanted if you watched a lot of witchy film and tv what was your favorite fictional book of shadows or magic book charmed practical magic etc yeah charmed and practical magic hands down were both my favorite books i just love i just love how they look and they just look so cool and magical and i don't know it's just like really really called to me they're just really awesome books and i would just i just think they're really cool but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video this tag video and I wish I could credit the person that created the tag but I don't know who it was that actually created the tag like I said at the beginning of the video I'm just following Katie Flowers tag um but she did it so I tag all of you guys that are watching this video to do your own video response and well do this tag video and if you guys do end up doing this tag video I would love for you to uh, put it in a link in the comments below or post it on my Fade Dust Facebook page or whatever as I would love, 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 love to see it. It would be really cool. And anyway, before I go, I don't know if you've noticed my top. I'll try and pull it up a little bit. My t-shirt. It's an old t-shirt that I haven't worn for ages. My mum got it me from the catalogue, I think. It's just grey with a pentacle on it and I just felt like bringing my inner witch to the surface today. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Blessed be.